Hello, my name is Kendra Winchester. Welcome back to my channel. And today we're gonna to be talking about the Reading Women Award winners in both nonfiction and fiction for 2018. Now, if you haven't been following along, I will link the playlist down below of some videos uh, for the different awards. Uh, there's also more information about the award down in the description box, as well as our shortlists and a lot of other information that you'll find useful. Also, the announcement episode will be linked down below. So you can go check that out and hear a longer description of why we chose these books and why they are amazing and why we love them. But yeah, so without further ado, let's just jump in to the winners. So the winner of the nonfiction prize this year is Educated by Tara Westover. When we read this book, Autumn and I, we were just blown away because we connected so much with this book because we both come from the mountains different mountains but we both come from the mountains we were in you know isolated rural conservative communities and there's so much about this book and just the general community part of this book that we deeply connected to a uh, tara grew up uh in an isolated section of idaho on this mountain uh her parents are mormon uh, her dad, dad is also a survivalist so but he also doesn't believe in hospitals or school or even you know homeschooling their children was having them flip through the book what that's not what what even is that <laughs> I feel like distance education has come so far, but that's like regressing so much. Anyway, I just have so many feelings. Uh, so this book is about the Tara's family. And while the overarching arc of the book is that she is educated, uh, she is given no education really, but she takes the college entrance exam after studying very hard and she gets help from her brother and different things. And then she goes to Brigham Young University. And from there, she gets help from her community and from her professors and they you know nominate her for different scholarships and different things and she eventually goes to cambridge for her ma and for her phd and i found this very interesting because i feel like some people have been spinning this book as like she you know pulled herself up by her own bootstraps or whatever while there is a lot of that and that is needed uh, she also had a lot of help from her community which i think is important because it also reminds us to not pull the ladder up behind us to turn around and see okay who can i help as well and her story is that as well and i think that's so important um so yeah I, I think this is definitely a book if you're from the city that you should definitely check out and if you're from a rural community like i am you obviously should also check it out because uh it's good to see you know some of your experiences in a book though i feel like poor Tara had the unfortunate alignment of all the horrible things happening to her. So uh, she does make a point in the beginning saying that like, you know, hashtag not all Mormons, hashtag not all rural people, hashtag not all crunchy, close to nature people. She's basically saying her parents were particularly just horrible people, essentially, even though she loves them, the horrible people. So anyway, we love this book because of all of these things how she has so many important things to discuss. Her discussion of memory is so important. And I think just being aware that people like Tara still exist and we should look around for them and help them the best that we can is also important. There's so many important things about this book. It also starts so many conversations. So I know everyone pretty much has strong feelings about this book one way or another, but we absolutely loved it and think it's an important book that, uh, everyone should read essentially which i think a lot of people have this year so uh, it's definitely one that i'm giving out as christmas gifts that's for sure all right so the one that a lot of people have been waiting for is the fiction award winner uh and autumn and i had a very interesting journey to this book uh, we read it early in the year and then we try not to like settle on something early on uh, we try to keep our minds open to possibilities throughout the year and uh, we just kept reading different books and we kept coming back to this book and how much we loved it and how impressed we were and how we would reread stories and we would discover more in the book. Um, and that is All the Names They Use for God by Anjali Satchdeva. Uh, this is, I feel like for some people it's gonna be a surprise because this book hasn't been as well known. It's a short story collection. It hasn't been out there as some of the novels on our list, but. Satchdeva has such a wide range of imagination and she has such a delicate hand. Each of the stories is intricately developed and the way that she crafts a story 
it's not just one thing. There are nine stories in this collection and for me each one of them is so memorable. I think of the different ones. There's one about a woman discovering a cave. There's about one with a man who has a glass lung. Um, there's one about a man and a mermaid and there are just so many different ones that I remember images of. I, I've read several sorcery collections this year and a lot of them were very forgettable, but this one, each of the stories I felt was a special gem. Her prose sparkles on the page and I listened to part of it on audio and I read part of it and her prose, you know, she said that she read the entire collection out loud when she was editing it because she wanted to make sure that it sounded beautiful as well as read on the text beautifully. And oh my goodness. So we did, we did interview her earlier this year. So I will link that down in the description box if you want to know more about this book. I absolutely love it. I hope that you love it as well. It is a book that you just, you can't go in with certain expectations. You just need to go and let the book be what it is, which is, I think, beautiful. And each of the stories just ask so many interesting questions. And her imagination, my goodness. And the way that she's able not to just have a beautiful imagination, but to turn that into a story is so difficult. I just love this book collection and I cannot wait to read more of her work. This is her very first book ever and we were blown away by it and I I just can't, I just don't know how she did it. It's amazing. So definitely go check out uh, All the Names of the Easter God by Anjali Sachdeva, um, which is our fiction winner and I, I just love it. So you might have noticed that we have these Reading Women Award seals um, and typically I don't like stickers on my book but I really love seeing the Reading Women Award seals on the book. Uh, just because it makes me happy because <laughs> um, and I love it so if you would like one of these we sell them at cost with free shipping so they're a dollar a piece um, you can go on the reading one store I'll link that down below um, and you can get them for your book um, yeah they're really cool to see uh, this one you can see on there I really I really like it it just makes me happy when I see them um, so yeah so you can find this and all of the other award winners on our website you can go see other award winners like Pachinko and Hunger by Roxane Gay and just a lot of different ones so uh, yeah go check these out and I hope that you love them as much as we do so yeah thank you so much for watching and I guess I'll see you in the next one bye guys